as you said, as Jan said, you heard, my name is Bojo, I'm Bojo Kostaic. I'm working on the University of Montenegro, and I'm going to show you some boring story about history, <laughs> not so, not so, so, so in, in the past, but history how we established the first internet exchange point in Montenegro. As I uh, mentioned about uh, Marco's presentation, probably we are able to implement IPv6 in our network and our internet exchange point, exchange point but we need knowledge, experience, and of course some funds. And we ask Marco in the next days about how to help us to implement it. So, can I back, back to my presentations? So, uh, my presentations, sorry. Yes, thank you. Dushan is my student. Dushan was my student. Thank you, Dushan. So, content of my presentation is some, some, uh, about short history about Internet Exchange Point, um, uh, our present state, members, plans, and of course, some conclusions. So, Montenegro was uh, one of the last country in Montenegro, is in uh, Europe, sorry, without any Internet Exchange Point a uh, couple days, couple years ago. So our agency for electronic communications and telecommunications, sorry, and postal services has started some activities to promote uh, benefits of internet exchange points and uh, in building some internet exchange points in Montenegro at the end of 2030. So of course, they uh, engaged the University of Montenegro to produce some feasibility study about that and of course, uh, me and my team from university made some feasibility study and finished that in April 2030. And of course, uh, we tried to, we, we had to validate uh, some arguments, some details from our study, and we have some public debates about that uh, on some events, especially in some in uh, the biggest conference in Montenegro, in Fest 2040. So the, the, the basic conclusion of our uh, feasibility study was that uh, we take uh, 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 priority for, of the benefits of uh, internet exchange point over the commercial, in, uh, commercial reasons. So we proposed that the uh, academic environment that's in University of Montenegro, supported by ministry and agency, is optimal solutions for establishing the first internet exchange point in Montenegro. As we, uh, as we heard from Pavles in the last presentations, our telecommunication market is not so big and we don't have so many ISPs and uh, they obviously uh, was not uh, uh, needs to establish IXP without help of government and, and agency, of course. Based on that feasibility study, the Ministry of Information Society and Telecommunications prepared the information for and recommendations for our government, and the government decided at November 2040 to make the first internet exchange point in our center of information system, our university. So, technical team of that center with SOX, Serbian IXP, help, thank you to, to the SOX, help us to create the details about the technical specification of the equipment and activities necessary for establishing the first IXP. So this is well-known scheme, I think. So we uh, we decided that uh, our first IXP, based on the Ethernet technology, using root servers model as the separate IS number with unique unique IS for, uh, and IP v6 and IP 
V4 for other thing, of course with some redundancy and connections with some servers for managing that IXP. So, since ISOC and IITU have showed great interest and have expressed the readiness to help us for building our IXP, we had contact their representatives and organized some workshops at the, uh, on, on the Zabljak, as Jan said before, on some uh, our international conference at the March of 2015. And uh, uh, on that conference, we gave, uh, they gave, gave us the final decision for IXP. Of course, uh, these three days, Workshops has gathered the representative of, of RIPE NCC, ICANN, France IXP, INEX, Sofco, SOX of course, NIX for Czech Republic, Cisco, uh, our center, of course, ministry, agency, and uh, two local ISPs. Uh, and we appointed the July of 2015 like deadline for establishing our, uh, our IXP. That means we spend almost two years just to, how to say, uh, prepare all technical and other details for establishing IXP. And we recognize, rec recognize that we had to prepare location, that means data center of university, provide required infrastructure for power, power supply and telecommunications, of course, procure some equipment, you know, router switches, some uh, hosts, uh, some hosts of uh, servers, for servers, set up and configure that equipment, make organizational structure and some rules, and of course, promote the IXP in local, community and after that provide some services. How we did it? First of all, we have, we have, how to say, lucky that our, the biggest ISPs help us. The Telenor and Sonogorsky Telecom have truly made the effort to help on the installing the first IXP and have agreed to together procure all equipment, equipment for ISP, and we solve one kind of the problem. Of course, University of Montenegro, in that, uh, that case, our computer center, prepare location in our data center and the resources for the implementation of necessary infrastructure changes for power supply, uh, some optical cables, etc., have came from the ITU which helping the development of the first IXP. Of course, our agency supporting MixP uh, for staff development, and we have some training, uh, uh, and we, we are glad that uh, Nix from Czech Republic provided us some training of BGP, BGP peering for our technical staff. And of course, ISOC will provide some switches for redundance for our IXP, I hope, very soon. And at, at the May 2550, we uh, obtained some IS number from RIPE, of course, some set of uh, uh, IP addresses, V6 and V4, and of course, we establish our website and some, some organization, organizational structure. At the June 2050, location has been prepared and the equi equipment has been bring in the place. And finally, on the 6th July 2050, almost two years ago, configuration of the, of the MixP was completed and two ISPs, that means university and domain, was, we are were connected for IXP and some test test work, and this is our IXP. It's not so big, but but it works. Some communication of, and some, of course, uh, uh, servers. And finally, we have 
we had sorry opening ceremony of the mi mix uh, at the 22 July 2050. Of course, our rector opened the uh, Internet Exchange Point. Of course, uh, the, the Ministry of Information Society and Director of Agency were present in in our and and uh, they saw the, the details in her details about XP. Of course, I think that uh, the synergy between university, the ministry, the agency, ITU, ISOC, RIPE, ICANN, Cisco, France, uh, SIX, SOX, uh, NIX, uh, and of course local ISPs produce that we establish our first IXP. I think that is the success story. This is place of that. So, but we didn't finished work, of course, because we don't have some rules, we don't have some price list, some organization structure, how to manage that. And we decide that uh, start with some promotion work. That, uh, that means that we start promotion work of whole 2015. Uh, and uh, we will start for, for that. And uh, it, uh, that promotion work, sorry, characterized by the promotion of the IXP functionality, benefits, advantages, of, co of course, through the, a call for, for all ISPs and uh, uh, other legal subjects, which fulfill the conditions of connecting, to connect to the uh, IXP, and the service of monthly use, of course, was not be charged. And uh, many of ISPs connect in that period for the, our mixed Oh, the next step was the establishing some board, some organization structure. The government of Montenegro established some advisory board at the end, the, at the end of September 2015. And the management board of the university approved the mixed rules and some price list which proposed the advisory board at the end of the 2015, that's December of that year. And of course, we will, we will prepare for, for, for work. And we start the last year and the first January. So uh, the member of advisory board, of advisory board composed of the representatives of, from the, of course, IXP, that's mean myself, agency of electronic communications, the ministry, in the past, that was Ministry of Information Society, but now that's Ministry of Economy. And, of course, members or operators or ISP, uh, which are uh, connected to, to some IXP. So we provide usually services, first of all, of course, peering on that, uh, that bandwidth. Of course, we have root server, of course, built with BGP. DNS resolving because we are connected for uh, for the uh, uh, one node of F, F root server if, in Montenegro, looking glass of course, peering matrix and some traffic monitoring. We uh, installed the IXP manager in that purpose. And uh, the present state and members of our IXP now are uh, uh, University of Montenegro. Sanogorsky Telecom, Telenor, Mtel, MN News. Uh, the first uh, three top local ISPs are Sanogorsky Telecom, Telenor, and Mtel. That's mean almost all, almost all users in Montenegro connected now on the IXP. So ongoing, we, we are preparing to connect governmental network. They connect physically, but not configured yet. They, they have some, some problems to do that. And of course, Telemac is the most broadband provider in Montenegro. And we negotiate uh, uh, currently for Orion. And of course, traffic, traffic uh, uh, is growing each day. This is some picture about IXP manager about our traffic. And uh, you know, we, have, we, we catch many benefits. First of all, we accelerate local internet exchange between 
localized peace. Of course, we improve security of local communications. Uh, of course, we reduce light, uh, latency. We improve overall <coughs> bandwidth for all ISPs. We improve the routing efficiency. Relieve li links for, uh, for global internet access. Improve the quality of internet access, of course. Help technical startups and other uh, developing relationships for the research for the whole internet local society in Montenegro. But we have to improve, we have to develop in the future. So we, uh, pl uh, we have some plans. Uh, first of all, we have to connect almost, no, not almost all local ISPs, as you uh, heard from Pavle. We have, I think, uh, 16 ISPs. Many of that, uh, how to say, uh, provide uh, uh, to others internet, but we, we, we try to connect all of them. We, pl we have planned to establish, of course, some association of uh, Internet Exchange Point members to, how to say, to suggest us to improve something, to provide other services, etc., to introduce some new services. Uh, of course, we plan to cash in global services and contents most commonly used in our local community because, you know, we don't have so much local traffic and local data in Montenegro and many of that data hosting in abroad. And uh, we, we have planned to connect in with, with the neighbor ISPs, uh, first of all for the, to the SOX, and uh, if we can connect to them some global and some significant global ISP in Europe. So, uh, some conclusions and maybe, maybe some experience of the building of our IXP is that um, we think that uh, our IXP was established in the right way and the thanks to the synergy of the considered participants but should continue to be developed with the active participation of the all st stakeholders and trends of the IXP. Uh, I, I, IST development, of course, and uh, as we heard from the Marco, we have to improve that, especially in way of IPv6, IPv6 development. Thank you so much, and I think that you have some questions for me. And, uh, excuse me, uh, some corrections. The Bobatov cook is not uh, 2,524, 23. <laughs> okay. Please. I was born, yeah? One meter. Okay. Uh, are there any questions? Because we are half an hour ahead of the program. So you will be just sitting here for half an hour and no, no. nothing. No, no. Hisham, please. Yep, hello. Um, Hisham, I'm praying right in CC. First of all, thank you very much for the presentation and the lovely work you're doing with the exchange. Um, I just wanted to point out something very, um, um, very actually essential for, uh, for exchanges to actually be promoted and, and, and known. Um, I went to the website, tried to see the list of members or traffic uh, graphs. Couldn't really find any yet. It says under construction, which is something that I think would be useful to, to be worked on. Um, also, there are other places that you probably want to list your exchange. That is to attract more content and more operators to come in. So like PCH runs a IIXB directory. Uh, PeeringDB, you do have a PeeringDB account, but maybe there could be more information in there. Uh, just small things that will help promote the lovely work that you're doing. But other than that, thank you very much. Thank you. Any other questions? No? I still remember Jabliak and one meter of snow. Yes. <laughs> but I'm I'm really happy that that this workshop resulted in in yes. in the birth of the new uh, internet exchange point. 
Okay. So, if there are no other questions, 